There are two reasons we can't let go — an attachment to the past, or a fear for the future. Japanese organising consultant and decluttering specialist Maria Kondo has recently opened up an online store. If you don't know who she is, Maria became famous and made millions of dollars teaching people her KonMari method. Basically, she teaches you that you should only keep things in your life that spark joy. If you've got a bookshelf in your office full of books you never read, just taking up space, then you should probably get rid of it. You should thank the bookshelf for its service, donate all the books to charity, and say goodbye. It doesn't belong in your life if it doesn't bring you happiness. Anyway, a lot of us went along with this and emptied our houses of all the useless junk. It's a good idea, especially in this consumer-driven world. So now we have clutter-free offices and rolled-up towels. Great. Now what? What should we do with all this empty space? Never fear, Maria Kondo has the answer with her new shop at KonMari. The goal of tidying is to make room for meaningful objects, people, and experiences. I can think of no greater happiness in life than being surrounded only by the things I love. Free holiday shipping. What does she sell? Well, for 12 US dollars you can buy a shiatsu stick. What's a shiatsu stick? It's basically a tree branch that's been sharpened to a point that you use to apply pressure to certain points on your body to relieve tension. It's actually sold out, and the shop's only been open for about a week. What about a $52 brass tea scoop? Are you sick of scooping out tea the old-fashioned way using a spoon? Well, you should probably buy one of these, but don't expect to get one before Christmas, because they're also sold out. Now that you've thrown out everything, you probably need a place to put your tools. How about this brass tool holder for $275? Guess what? They're still in stock. So if your husband is looking for somewhere to put his hammer or cold chisel now that you've thrown out his toolbox, you should probably pick him up this overpriced brass vase just in time for Christmas. Have you ever felt that your internal vibrations aren't in line with the universe? Well, for $75 you can strike this tuning fork against this rose quartz crystal and feel those good, 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 good vibrations. Apparently, Maria uses one every day. And just one more, because I'm gaining so much joy from Maria's website. A large serving bowl for $220. It's made from food-safe, shatter-resistant resin and is based on the shape of an amoeba. It's so large that it can actually hold two lemons. Anyway, I think you get the picture. I'm completely jealous of Maria Kondo and wish that I too could sell some tat online for a tidy profit instead of slaving away working a job that I don't like. But to be fair to Maria, she's just a businesswoman who's found a way to make a decent living. If people want to buy a tea container for $200 or a bottle opener for $65, well, that's up to them. That's the free market. But there is a little bit of irony in there, don't you think? I mean, a minimalist trying to pawn off overpriced stuff online. It'd be like a fast food chain selling a weight loss book. What do you think? Is there anything hypocritical about Maria's new enterprise? Does it take anything away from her minimalist roots? Let me know your thoughts below.